partnerships are widely acknowledged in international frameworks as important to building peace, but details of how they work in practice are hard to come by. Collaborative partnerships are at the heart of the way Conciliation Resources works. We believe in genuine two-way partnerships and play an accompanying role, offering advice, solidarity, capacity building and organisational support, as well as opportunities for comparative learning and networking. I really appreciate that people in Conciliation Resources, they like to listen, they like to inquire more about our aspirations and they try to understand what we are trying to say. We work with a diverse range of partners. These include local and national NGOs and networks, women's organisations and academic institutions, even local enterprise. Together with our partners from around the world, we've been examining and evaluating our experiences of working together to find out what makes an effective peace-building partnership. We found that long-term partnerships give partners the space to think beyond a specific project and focus instead on the transformational change they're pursuing. When we work with partners in conflict-affected contexts as equals, not using them as implementers, it gives them the flexibility to react to ever-changing and often volatile conflict situations. This longevity and accompaniment is also key to building trust and has enabled conciliation resources and partners to take forward new and challenging initiatives in response to deep-rooted conflicts. And this partnership has been like a friendship. It has flexibility in it, it has uh, creativity, it has ownership of all uh, what the partners feel and what the partnering organisation feels. Because of that, it has delivered to a large extent on the ground in creating spaces for peace building. While conservation resources and its partners share common purpose in building lasting peace, there is a huge diversity in the range of skills, expertise and relationships. The diversity of skill sets means we can achieve results that would not be possible alone. Partnerships work best when partners amplify each other's strength while also identifying and addressing skills gaps and sharing expertise. Brief is an economic development institution and not a peace building institution. That's what CR has taught us. CR has taught us the process of peace building. They have made us appreciate the process of peace building and, and also made this a way of life for the whole team of Brief. In the different activities and in the different uh, projects that we have run together, it has been incredible to do joint analysis, and to put words to what our experience is. So I think that is one of the most important things that we do together. Things we pride ourselves at the Puka Center is that convening power. We are able to bring almost most of the key policy makers at the highest level of government to the table. And basically, if we eventually go into that partnership, that is what we are likely to offer. Conciliation Resources prefers not to have in-country offices in order to build local capacities and ownership, to have more equal partnerships and include people who are often excluded. Giving space to local civil society organisations to take a lead on many of the programme activities helps to build local peace building agency and longer term ownership initiatives. What Conciliation Resources do is that it provides that platform for indigenous women so that the indigenous women can speak about themselves. The solutions to transforming conflict lie within the societies experiencing conflict. Our research shows that partnership between local civil society organizations and networks and international NGOs can offer real value for peace building and are key to creating lasting change. <laughs>